Alarm clock? Oh. One exit. One arts and crafts. I am grateful for all of those that you have. None. Will you marry me? I am grateful for all of those that you have. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? Not ideal. Alright. Shoot. No. Three or four. It's a three or four unless something magical happens at the moment, which it's not. Damn. Okay, though, that... Me. I... I guess I'll experiment more with the strategy, because that is pretty much confirmed it can work. <sighs> Alright, let me think. So five of... No, six of the eight boldies are going to be going to the east hallway because of the alarm clock. Some are probably already coming back to... to, um any noise I happen to have made after it went off, which there is a couple things. Um, two bo two boldies that, that are slower are currently coming to my location as well. I only have two quarters and whatever is in the other item box, but I'm also undetected. If it's boots, I might have actually a decent chance of this. If it's a beer soda, I, mm, I have a bit less chance, but it's possible. I think Hope it's boots, because then that will allow me to get the first exit, and also potentially use my quarters, but I will have to be fast because of the um, body that I'm about to spawn as soon as I press enter. Can all but try. I don't even know why I started saying that. I am coming right here. Alright, itemless, I guess. <laughs> yes, there's an arts. There's another one. Two or four. Could be spawned in a boldy, that's the problem. First prize, not! <laughs> Nope, this is dead. Three or four. It's a good run. Was that two jump scare sounds at the same time? Education and learning. That's me. Bruh. <laughs> I'm not even concerned. I'm not even sad about that three or three or four. That was two jump scare <laughs> sounds at the same time. Yeah, basically, I have to go here and just hope these items can make it to the end. The answer is no. No, they cannot. I'm hoping I'm wrong there, but the chances are it's going to be a no. Because I have principles keys. That's one of the worst items for chaos mode. Uh, arts, arts, arts. Yes, okay, one exit. Let's get over here. Yes, second one, third one, third one. Got it. And he teleported me on Baldi. <laughs> Bruh.
I'm gonna assume that's just a chaos mode bug. <laughs> Either it's either gotta sweep still slow you down, and it just ha happened to be too many gotta sweeps that I still got stuck, or uh, yeah. Alright. I'm getting playtime. Oh no. Please do not move. That's Damn, that loadout is, uh, good.
Bruh, I, I accidentally hit my keybind <laughs> at some point for turning off, um, well, to turning my thing to OBS to no mic. <laughs> it's done. Now, I actually have, s I have messed around with debug mode with, um, what's it called? This. Um, I'm gonna go grab the notebooks and just see what happens, because they do spawn more baldies. But yeah. Arts and Crafts is literally the only reason why Chaos Mode was probably beaten so fast. It doesn't actually matter if I answer that. Now guess what? <laughs> There's another set of baldies and stuff. I can't go and meet them because, unfortunately, uh, what's it called? I don't have a teleporter. How did he see me running in the halls? I <laughs> forgot where the other note. Where was the second notebook? Does anyone remember? Okay, this is interesting. They can see me, but they can't get to me. I don't know why I answered that. Nope, still the same amount of characters. Hey, Baldi, I'm over here. <laughs> this is stupid. Um, yeah, I missed- so I missed around with this party style secret ending with debug mode a while ago, mainly because I was just curious what would happen. What? Let me- let's finish this properly. Oh, we're underneath Goddess Week. Everyone say hi to the test! Hello, the test! Wow. I just miscounted that badly. And yep, Classic Style's the last one standing. For me to be. I don't know if I'm gonna do my thing I was gonna originally do, which is classic style secret ending. PTSD.exe. <laughs> hey, Glitch, how you doing? Hold on a minute, isn't that the elevator sprite? It is really funny to see that the el Wait, Bodie's outside? Bodie was outside! How? Oh, rare footage of Bully moving. There we are. I'm just gonna get hit by a bunch because I think that might help. Yo, it's glitch style chaos mode, real, not fake, totally. I'm gonna push the button. How long does this take? Come on. No, I re distinctly remember party style ending not take there we are <laughs> took it long enough <laughs> yo chaos mode chaos mode <laughs> re <laughs> all right uh stream chat i'm not done yet actually because <laughs> to tear list maker so i'm gonna do this based on chaos mode which means <laughs> unfortunately some very useful items are straight in f tier <laughs> So, I mean, technically they are available in, uh, what's it called, in Classic Remastered, but not, but you require debug mode. Anyways, Whistle is straight at nest here, for hopefully obvious reasons. Great item. Keys is definitely a straight F. Alarm clock. It has uses, but there are, it sometimes can screw you over and sometimes takes too long, so I probably would actually put that in, I don't know, probably low A tier. Tape, high F tier, but F tier nonetheless. Definitely bit. I personally think it's better than keys, because it does still stop sounds from being produced, but you need a route that uses a tape in mind, which is already impossible in party style, but uh, the whistle was here. Boots, S tier, you can stop first prizes, apparently not got a sweeps. But alright. Bee soda. 
Definitely S tier, but I actually think it might be low S tier. Dangerous teleporter can get you out of an impossible situation, even with stuff that B Soda and Boots can't solve. There was actually a chance it could have gotten party style chaos mode secret ending because I had the two quarters at the end, but that gave me a lock in boots, I think. Shock eraser C tier. <laughs> Only seen in glitch style, but it's probably one of the worst items you can use if done improperly. Zesty bar. I don't know where Zesty bar would go <laughs> for chaos mode because like running is bad, but running is also good. Well, nah, S tier, definitely S tier, I think. Okay, look, faculty name tag is probably higher than teleporter, I'd say. <laughs> You can run, characters ignore you, including Playtime, but not including Chalk. Cloudy, Copter, not Chalkles. Portal Poster, it's technically available. F tier. <laughs> you get, you, it's the only way to obtain it is to, is demo style, is getting all the bonus questions correct, which is basically impossible in Chaos Mode, and even then, what are you going to do with it? Is it, uh... I don't know. I mean, the problem with trying to rank them together is the fact that they're in two completely different styles. Like, faculty name tags only seen in, uh, what's it called? Um, demo style, and teleporters only seen in, a uh, party style. Also, I'm putting quarter and A tier. <laughs> like, it's useful, you can get a B soda, potentially, but you also need to be where things are. No, yeah, I'm actually pretty calm. I, I will... I will put um, faculty name tag above Dangerous Teleporter, because while the Dangerous Teleporter is good... Or like, oh... Yeah, while the Dangerous Teleporter is good, it does have issues. Like, you can get out of an impossible situation, but there's nothing stopping you from... There's nothing stopping it from putting you straight back into that impossible situation. Roll that one clip from yet um, Saturday's stream. That's also at in five years of Westie. I actually put that in there, where it teleported me to the exact same location I started, which was, to be honest, pretty funny. Oh, safety scissors. Where do I put this? It's definitely S tier, but where? Probably. Oh, first prize is a really big run killer, but so is playtime. Scissors can be used against both, but one will let you be let you be immune to one for so I think I'm gonna have to go that. Yeah. Although I mean it is rare for a dangerous teleporter to put you in impossible situations. The only reason you'd really want to use a dangerous teleporter is to get um out of one, so if it is luck based if you put straight back into one, but yeah. Also, uh, another reason I'm putting faculty name tag higher than dangerous teleporter is that you can use that pretty much at any time and it's going to be helpful. Whereas the dangerous teleporter, use it at five out of seven or six out of seven notebooks, you're probably screwed because the chances of you actually getting teleported into the final classroom are pretty low, but it is still pretty helpful. Uh, no, it is definitely not S tier. It is... I'm debating either low A or B tier for lock. I guess with the Zern route, it actually does help quite a bit, and I think the route LCR is, um, route use the lock, which, I mean, that one can at least guarantee it. But the main issue with the lock is that it's not actually that useful. Like, that... the East Hallway, it is very helpful. But that's about it. Use it in the ca cafeteria, and Baldies may just cut you off when trying to get the last notebook, depending on what your route is. Uh, using it at the starting area is pretty much a waste, unless you're at exits where it can actually be quite useful. You may, I guess, the middle area you could do it, get away with. But if you're going in there, you're really desperate to survive or something because that is a terrible place to be. The um, er the middle area that you can see in the fourth classroom. A B tier. And no squee. High B tier, I think. Because it's not the most helpful, especially if you're seen going into a classroom, but it can help. You get undetected, and uh, it was helpful in the route I was using because it, uh, I could um, get into one of the, f 
classroom six for the fifth notebook um, without alerting the Baldi that was just spawned. Yeah, that that that's my uh, <laughs> chaos mode item tier list. <laughs> yep, this is this is my tier list of chaos mode items. <laughs>